Well, there's several different companies that lay claim to the original versions of Little Red Riding Hood. It's a modern retelling in an urban landscape, basically the urban jungle that Little Red has to go traveling through where she encounters the wolf and gets to Grandma's house. Red It's a uh, 90 degree in there with all this glue and uh, how do you feel? What did you do to her? 90 degrees, is that all? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's hot. In that makeup, it's really hot. It's a hot summer day, and we're in an unventilated warehouse that's all closed up. That's our, our film set. I've got a brilliant makeup artist, Joey. He's incredible. He's, he's wonderfully talented, and he's on the rise. It's not what I did. That's what she did. Did he handled all the makeup, and he produced it from scratch. And you what's up in these woods? Uh, there's a total of seven different latex appliances that he uses. As a composite to create that face and to create the nails. And Give me, Give me an it's your sweet daughter. I always had a childhood fascination with the Wolfman, but the Lon Chaney version, the original golden era of Hollywood version, the little team doing this. And I feel there's some unsavory characters in these woods. And I had this combination fascination and fear. So at night, I hated it. Wouldn't look at my posters. They were everywhere. But by day, I thought it was the coolest thing on the planet. Every Holloway I do it. This is the first time I've had the help of a professional. I'm afraid. I don't need to be afraid. Ever again, my daughter. I have no valuables. You know what? I've been waiting in this set for a long time. Uh, how long it's going to take uh, for the next time we do the makeup? About the same three hours. I have nothing that you want! And that's before we, I even say the first line on the film set. Oh, that's actually quite wrong! About 17 different stages while we're putting on the makeup. It's amazing. Uh, one of those days, in fact, that we filmed, our makeup artist wasn't available. He had another commitment with another project, so I had to do all the makeup myself. Exactly what I want. But I have nothing to lie to you! And uh, it was an admirable effort, but it was nothing like his work. And so she did. Everything that makes me look like a living lycanthrope or werewolf. As to whether or not he's going to fight, all I can tell you is this. He didn't get his reputation for nothing. Uh-oh, I see another master here. What's your name, sir? I'm John McGowan. I heard that you're a master, you know everything. Is that I'm a master? No, definitely not. No, I've been doing wushu with uh, Master Hu Jin Chang uh, for the past six years. He was, uh, he was in school with uh, Jet Li back in the day. So is it possible uh, you show us some moves? Uh, can you please tell me the name? That's Matt. What do you do here? Um, well, uh, the, main, the main scene I do is uh, coming in with the clock, jumping through. It took uh, quite a few takes. I had some sore legs. What is your major training? Uh, I do Kempo. You know, I train my jumping a lot. Um, for a while, I was uh, jumping onto the roof of my car from a, from a dead, dead standstill, just up onto the car. Oh, Master, <laughs> what's your name? Hi, my name is Jim. I'm from a martial arts team called Team FS. I did a, a basic combo. 720, 540, and uh, touchdown rise, uh, flash kick. Where are you coming from? From New York. You know, I, I do Taekwondo, but uh, I do a martial arts tricking, which is uh, kicks, foot, and twist. 
Yeah, uh, I'm part of a team called Team FS back in New York. Uh, yeah, you could just YouTube Team FS. Oh, you see a lot of videos. Yeah. Uh, just a couple basic kicking combos from Taekwondo, uh, like a narabang and uh, uh, I think it's a tornado front kick, and the back sweep, and the G7, the Gumby uh, back foot. My name is David Lavalle, and I'm from Providence, Rhode Island. My major style of training is. is uh, I study music, I'm a singer. But um, I'm just helping Leo out here with some stunt work because I'm interested in all these martial arts stuff. Is it possible you show the audience a couple moves? Yeah. <laughs> My name is Nathan, and I'm coming from Warwick, Rhode Island. Hey, Nathan, I just saw what you did, but can you please show the audience some more of your bad moves? I actually don't do any martial arts. I studied Kempo for only three months, and that was over a year ago. So, I do have one thing I can do for you, however. I am the only Caucasian person on the set that can speak Chinese. I'm asking you if you know what I'm saying. No? Well, too bad. Okay, bad. My name is Paul Drexler Martell. I'm from Middletown, Connecticut, but right now I'm in Greenville, Rhode Island, shooting pins and needles. in Kenpo, but I've done Mushu, Modern Arnis, Krav Maga, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, stunt work, etc. Okay, can you please show us some move? Yeah! Is that real, Paul? Well, it's real to some degree. We did use a real fluorescent light. However, there was a lot of safety involved. I had a thick coat. We had a lot of padding and things like that. So I'm perfectly OK. You know, I was nervous about doing it the first time, but I'm fine now. And it didn't hurt at all. But even though we kept it all very safe, there's a lot of movie magic involved. So no one should really be trying this at home at all. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm John Trey. Like uh, a... I'm working as a stuntman and one of the wolves on this shoot. Hi. We are shooting an action scene where Little Red Riding Hood in this modernized retelling is attacked by a pack of human-like human wolves who are uh, following the big bad wolf. And we're the human-like wolves. So we're, we're kind of like imitators. We're not actually wolves, but we try very hard to be. Hence all the fur and ridiculous costumes. Uh, is it possible you show me a couple of your uh, moves? Uh, okay. That. Please tell me your name. My name, where am I from? My name is uh, Emmanuel Manzanares. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. What do you do? I do stunt. Yeah. I do fight choreography. So instead of, instead of going like this, I actually. You're gonna show us some deadly clip later on? Yeah, I'll show you lots of deadly clips, but don't do it at home. It's very dangerous. How do you know Mr. Leo? <laughs> I know Mr. Leo. Um, I met him online. Uh, he saw my work and he liked what I did. I liked what he did. I asked him to come down to Chicago and he asked me to come to Boston. Hey, are you from Chicago? Yeah, I'll be down.